Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is just a little bit different. I'm gonna be outside and inside and I'm making over some bar stools and another little stool. So let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome to Late Night Creations. I'm outside, it's kind of noisy, sorry, but I've got these little stools out here and I'm gonna make them over and I wanna take you along with me and show you how I did it. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna use my orbital sander. I absolutely love this thing. And I just you just pop the sandpaper on there. It's all Velcro. And I'm not applying great pressure. You don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. I also decided that this grit of sandpaper wasn't strong enough to remove all of this old uh, stain and varnish that was on here no telling how many years I picked these up on Facebook marketplace a few years back and got them dirt cheap so I decided to put a stronger grip grit of um, sandpaper so I think I ended up using 80 grit to sand out those rough spots in there um, I'm embarrassed to even tell you how I got those um, marks in there but anyway I'm only sanding the tops not the bottom legs and this little stool was my grandmother's um, as she got older and couldn't reach things in the cabinet she used this stool and when she had to leave her house and move into a nursing home uh, I got this stool and so I've had it for several years and I've just finally decided to paint it and make it over to match my kitchen decor Okay, now we've got all three stools, one I'm sitting on, sanded down and ready to go. I'm only gonna stain the top of the bar stools, paint the legs. Really not sure what I'm gonna do with my little stool that was my grandmother's yet. Still undecided. I did go ahead and sand the legs a little bit just in case I changed my mind. Definitely going to paint the legs of the bar stools and stain the tops, I think. We'll see when we get in there and get started. I decided I better stain these outside so that the smell doesn't smell up my house. This, this stain that I use is really good. It's by Minwax and it is special walnut and I love this color. I did my coffee table in this. Sorry, the trucks are really loud on the road. We live on the corner of a busy road out in the middle of nowhere. We're in the country, but anyway, lots of trucks go up and down our road. So. This does have an odor, but outside with the mask on, it's not too bad actually. So I'm gonna pour it in this little lid that I have in my drawer that can't find the bolt to it. So we'll just use it for the stain. How about that? So let me get set up and we'll get started. Okay, I'm just gonna pour a little stain at a time in here so I don't waste any. And I am going to apply it with this sponge brush with no gloves on. Silly me, but I managed to do okay. So I'm just gonna get enough in the brush not to be dripping everywhere, um, but to get a good amount on there because this wood was thirsty. Now I did sand it with the 80 grit, then I went to 150 grit, and then I ended up with a 400 grit. So I did sand it down really nice and smooth. So this surface is really smooth, but it is thirsty. It is soaking up this stain really good. Then here I go with my old t-shirt cut up. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use old undershirts, old t-shirts in my crafting. And so I'm just going to wipe off all the excess and look how beautiful... Now I'm inside and I'm gonna use this black velvet from DIY paint I got from the Latina next door and this brush that I got off Amazon. And I'm seeing that one coat is definitely not gonna be enough and so I do two coats. I start on the underneath. Sorry about all the headshots in my hair but there just wasn't really a good way to get this on camera. Um, painting is not rocket science. You can see that, you know, you just, I just put the paint on there. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you about how to paint. You just dip your brush in the paint and put the paint on the wood. Um, this is really looks more like a dark charcoal. It doesn't look black to me. And I know that, um, Yami over at the Latina next door says that once you put the wax on, 
that it deepens it. And you will see that when I do that, it does. But in the end result, I still feel like it looks like a dark charcoal. I don't feel like it really looks like a rich black velvet. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you the comparison in the folk art. Oh, this is the finishing paste I use. Oh, that was the second coat. That was the second coat I was doing. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. So I'm using this finishing paste on the stained seat. I apply a good, nice, thick coat and then I wait 15 minutes and buff. You can see that it does rich, it does um, make the color richer, but it still does not look black to me. I'm, I'm okay with the color. I, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with the color that it turned out. And then here we go. Buff, buff, buff. And, you know, if you're familiar with Casey and the Sunshine Band, that's what I was singing in my head. Buff, buff, buff. Buff, 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 buff your bar stool. Sorry, had to sing it. Okay, so I did two coats of the wax on the seat after it dried really good, and I think they turned out beautiful. Okay, now to my grandma's little stool. I'm going to use the folk art in rich black and just these paintbrushes or sponges. And you're going to see the difference in how much richer this black looks than that other um, black DIY paint. Now, maybe I should have gotten the DIY wax. Maybe I'll order some and see if it makes a difference in how much it deepens the color. So, But I'm going to do this entire stool in this rich black by Folk Art. And I just did one coat. One coat is all it took. It's it's really good coverage. And I had sanded this um, little stool down, all except the underneath of the seat. I had sanded this thing down pretty good. The legs and the top of it pretty good. So this goes on really nice and smooth. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're watching my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I've noticed um, in the messages that YouTube sends me, a lot of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So um, go ahead and hit that red subscribe and you can do that while you're actually watching the video. It does not interrupt your video and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And nobody's gonna bother you. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, when I upload new videos, you can hit the bell button and hit the all when the when that menu comes up. Okay, so I don't know why I'm showing you so much of this painting because like I said, painting is not rocket science. You just dip the paint in the brush and apply it where you want it. So I was trying to be really careful not to make a mess because I'm in the house um, doing furniture. I don't paint a ton of furniture. I have painted quite a few pieces of furniture in my life, but it's not something that I do a lot of. I would like to start doing more, but it's it's pretty time consuming and I do still work full time. So here we go. Painting this little stool that was my grandmother's. It was kind of bittersweet because I felt like, I don't know, it's not the state in which she gave it to me, and she hated for people to paint wood, solid wood. Oh, it just irritated her so much for people to paint over solid wood. So it was a little bit hard for me to paint this stool. Okay, now that I've got this little stool all painted, I made some stencils with my Cricut. And this is going in my kitchen, so if you haven't seen my last video, I will link it in the description box below, and you can see a little tour of my strawberry kitchen. So I'm going to put fresh strawberries and then put some strawberries on the bottom part of this stool. So I'm sorry for angles. I'm sorry if this is difficult to watch, but I tried to do my best with this little stool. I could not do it in my craft room because of the way that my desk is in there, but hopefully this will be um, you will get the gist of it. Now, I usually use a, a good coat of Mod Podge over my stencils so that I don't have any bleeding, and it works really good. 
So I just put it on and Mod Podge dries super fast so it doesn't really slow me down too much. So I have both stencils on. Mod Podge is dry. Um, it's all dry. I'm touching it. It's all dry. So I'm going to use this little sponge and just pounce the white chalk paint. This is linen chalk paint by Rust-Oleum. I love it. I buy it in a larger uh, can off Amazon. Sometimes I can find it at Walmart and I just put it in this smaller jar so it doesn't dry out as fast. It's a little more convenient too. So I'm just pouncing, pouncing it all over this stencil and just look around and make sure I don't want this to look distressed. So I'm checking every angle to make sure I don't see any spots where it looks like I've missed a spot. And I do like to pull it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I got good coverage. And I do like to pull it when it's wet, but it can make a mess if you're not careful. So I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to get a paper towel and keep my hands dry from paint. And then I'll get my tweezers in just a little bit and go back and get the pieces that I couldn't get with my fingers. Now, I do have a little trouble getting those pieces that are small in there because they're, this is so saturated with paint, and then my tweezers ended up with paint on them. So I ended up waiting. Um, see, I'm trying to get these little seeds off of the strawberries, and I can't really tell where they are. And so as I'm trying to pick around and fill, I made a mess, and so I had to go back in and do some touch-up painting and so I waited till it dried and got all those little pieces out. Now, back to my wax. I love this stuff. I'm, I've told you guys before in videos that I've had this can for several years. It doesn't take very much. I'm putting quite a bit on the top of this. I think I already did the legs. Maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe I do it this. I don't think I have it on film, though. For some reason, well, my phone kept saying I had no storage which I don't understand because I pay for storage in the cloud. And if it's in the cloud, why does it affect my phone? Somebody tell me. I'm so, I don't know if it's called illiterate when it comes to technology, but yeah, I struggle. And sorry about my head in the camera. That's the part I'm telling you I struggled with. But I think it turned out fantastic. I'm so happy with this little stool. I think my grandmother would love it.